you find that line? Let's go. What's up, TV fam? Welcome back to TV Nation. It's your girl, Tawana. And your boy, Vaughn. And we are back on the scene, back on the set with another video for y'all. We got a double header for y'all today, y'all. Both of these are Debo Vibes challenges. Challenges that Debo Vibe put out either by himself or in collaboration with somebody else. So first of all, let me tell you about the Who You Wit Ranch or Blue Cheese Challenge. That's by Debo Vibes and Gigi McNeil, Scrub the, aka Scrub the Ground. By the way, shout out to Scrub the Ground. She is our day one for the Man, day, the man Cave game day streaming. She, she has been in every single stream except one. And... Um, yeah, that's our ride or die for the man cave. So shout out to Gigi. Um, so for that one, what did I say that was? Oh, we who you with? So all you got to do is choose: do you like blue cheese or do you like ranch, and eat something with that. So y'all know we're house divided. We are. So I got that blue cheese. I got ranch, and I got wing stop ranch, y'all. I love Wingstop. ranch, but not all ranch. All ranch ain't good, but y'all know Wingstop Ranch is the best ranch, so looking forward to doing that. She got that Wingstop Ranch. And we have some air fried chicken here with some spinach. I got a little cheese on mine. So let me tell them we got why. some jasmine rice. Let me tell them why we got air fried chicken. Why we got air fried chicken. So, the other challenge Debo Vibes put out, and this one is in celebration of him hitting 1K. Congrats, Debo Vibes. Shout out to my man K brother Debo Vibes for hitting that 1K. Yeah. So he put out a challenge. Thank God it's Friday. Mm-hmm. Friday. So you got to eat something fried. Talk about why you created a mukbang channel. And tell your favorite line from the movie Friday. Friday. Any, any of the uh, Friday movies. So why this got a thing in the top, y'all? Tell me why this got a thing in the top. As if you're going to be able to open it and squeeze it out of the little hole. But that ain't the way the top is. Hmm. Oh, there. It's going to be hot. I'm going to put my blue cheese over here yeah, in this corner. Because she don't want to touch that blue cheese. Mm -mm. Don't like blue cheese. I don't. Now, I used to eat blue cheese when I was in high school. Mm. And only because some of my friends like blue cheese. And it wasn't, it's not like disgusting, but it ain't better than ranch. It ain't. No. Oh, well, I got all kinds of sauces over here. What you know what that's all? I'm going to put a little of this on my rice. So. And I guess I'll put it on my salad too. This is that chom sauce, y'all. That's good. Let's start it with my spinach. This is an Asian sauce, very much like the sauce that you get. If you've ever gotten vermicelli noodles, that vermicelli noodle bowl from a Vietnamese place, mm -hmm. it's very similar to the sauce that comes with that. Ooh, I'm about to drop my spinach. If you want some, <laughs> if you want some of that chum sauce, y'all, we're going to put the link down in the description, and we're going to put more Eats discount code in there. Because mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. is our affiliate. favorite affiliate for that. So we want to make sure she get that credit. Alright. So this spinach is so good with this cheese and this ranch, y'all. But I'm going to go in. Come on in on this chicken. This chicken is hot. It's literally just out the air fryer. So I'm going in on lot. Mmm. Mm. When last time you had blue cheese, babe? It's been a while. But you're a husband. Mm-hmm. Because, y'all, I prefer blue cheese over ranch. But I really don't eat it that often anyway. Mm. Even though I, that's my preference. Mm. Ranch is a wings that ranch is so good. Mmm. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Licking fingers good. Hmm. 
Y'all, we're gonna be honest. This chicken was baked. <laughs> but it air fried it when we heat it up. So it's technically So we can say it was fried. It's technically both. <laughs> <laughs> Cause y'all we already had some chicken cooked. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to do no batter fried. So that's what you got. I need somebody to put these bones. Mm. Let me get a plate. Mm hmm. I'm save this one. So how y'all doing out there in those YouTube streets? Mmm. And what y'all eating on? I know y'all eat on something good. Y'all always eat on something good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> I could have left the chicken in the air fryer longer so it get crispy. We ready to eat, y'all. Might have dried it out. And man. I don't want to dry it out because, as hubby said, this was already pre cooked and it was baked. And so I did not want to dry it out. Mm -hmm. And I was hungry. I wasn't about to wait a long time. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> nope. Mm hmm. So, y'all. I just had a bit of a scare. Yeah. So, we'll tell y'all all about that in another video, but we're going to be eating a little differently on the channel. But we'll roll out those yeah. details in a future video. But for now, Stay tuned. you tell the story better what story? about why we started this channel. What makes you think that? Because you do. <laughs> you told it at least twice on, that, on here. Well... This all happened during the beginning of the pandemic when everybody went on lockdown. Mm -hmm. So we were spending a lot of time at home, like everybody else, working from home and all that. And um, I was already watching YouTube mukbangers. I've, already, I've been watching YouTube for a long, really long time. Um, and I was watching mukbangers. Um, I was already watching Be Love's Life. Um, I was watching a few other mukbangers. I was watching some, um, you know, some of the other mukbangers that are not in our community. But, you know, I was watching that. So, mm -hmm. I've always loved watching these people. I, I thought it was so interesting that they were recording themselves, eating food and talking. And, I don't know, I was just, like, fascinated by it. And so, we were bored. And then, I was like, babe, let's make a YouTube channel. You know, I was like, I think it would be fun. Let's do uh, a mukbang channel. So, what were your thoughts when I said that? Well, first of all, let me tell y'all, she had already floated to me the idea of doing a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a it wasn't a mukbang channel. Though. Oh, that's true. And the idea she had, I didn't really want to do it. It was more of a vlog, reality, like follow our life kind of thing, right? Yeah, I wanted to do that. I, th I think it would have been a hit, but... No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He didn't want to do that for privacy reasons, so... And also, I didn't I didn't think I would behave naturally if I know... Okay, First of all, we're going to film it. We didn't work that out. But secondly... <laughs> secondly, I didn't, I didn't believe I would act naturally if I knew I was being filmed. But anyway... Mm -hmm. So yeah, so she brought this up. I was like, what you mean, eat on camera? Because I didn't used to watch that kind of stuff, y'all. And then when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> People actually set up a camera in front of themselves, mm -hmm. sit there and eat, mm -hmm. and either don't talk or they talk. And people watch this. Mm -hmm. So at first I was a little skeptical. I was like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It seemed kind of silly. But then the more I watched, 
the more I found myself engaged and actually getting into it. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. This will be fun. It'll give us something to do. Yeah. We're bored sitting in the house. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. And I had already been into YouTube because I had previously started my other channel, my first channel that I made, my recovery channel. I had previously started that. So I've always just been really like I said, fascinated with YouTube, very interested in YouTube. And um, so I'd already, I was already doing it. I wasn't really working my channel a lot like I am now, but I'd already started it. And I really wanted to do a channel with the hubby. So he didn't want to go with my first idea. So <laughs> I suggested the mukbang channel and I'm so excited that he was willing to do that. It's been fun. It's been and fun. let me tell y'all, I couldn't have done it without him really because like I said on our live, I don't know if y'all watched it, but he's really the mastermind be behind this channel. Mm. He comes up with most of the, most of the ideas, almost all of them. Not the mastermind. He does the production, like everything, the editing. Y'all know all that stuff. He did all that. So it was just me. I don't know what this channel would be like. It would probably be that good. <laughs> this should work. Mm. So yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's how and why we started the Mukbang Channel. Started. Quick plug again. Shout out mm. to the homie Debo Vibes for hitting 1K. Mm. If y'all don't know who Debo Vibes is, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Mm -hmm. So get over there to his channel and subscribe. If you need to follow them instructions, then you obviously not subscribe. So you need to get on over there and do that. Mm. Y'all, y'all, this Wingstop Ranch is everything. I don't see how anybody can chew blue, blue cheese over this. I spilled it all on my top. See? That's how good you it is. You like it so much you get wild with it. That's how good it is. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> she getting wild with it, y'all. Mmm. <laughs> with this spinach and this cheese and this Wingstop Ranch. That alone is so delicious. So let's talk about our favorite lines from Friday. <laughs> now, y'all, this is cliche because, I mean, everybody likes this line. I actually got two lines, but because I just thought of another. Me too. I got a new one. You do? You got to choose one. I have to choose one? You say your favorite. I want to say both. Okay. Debo, tell me if I can say both. <laughs> so the first one that I know everybody like, y'all already know what I'm saying. You just got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> but the other one, I don't know what it was already. How you got already? Oh, before Craig was about to fight, when his dad came up to him. No, he had grabbed a gun. He's going to go out there and shoot Debo. And he said, son, if you fight, if you use these, you live to fight another day. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> or else I might get the rest of it wrong. Mm. Well, my favorite line, I don't know if he said it exactly this way, <laughs> but I like, when uh what was the boy name? Craig. Craig. Ice Cube's character? Yeah, it was Ice Cube character. Mm, Craig. Craig. Craig said How you get fired on your day out? <laughs> he said that it's smoky. He didn't smoke. Yeah, that was so funny to me. For real though. <laughs> How do you get fired on your day out? And then another line I like I think this is Friday. Bye, Felicia. Is that Friday? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know that became a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that line too. That's probably my favorite. And also, yeah. How you get? So I don't know day off. <laughs> Friday is a funny movie. Mm -hmm. I've seen that movie so many times. Oh, yeah. Especially the first one. Exactly. When we were L in L.A., we went oh, by the yeah. Friday house. 
the that was the first was was were they all um shot at the same location? All three of the friends? Yeah. Craig's house was always the same. Yeah, so we went by Craig's house when we were in LA. That was so cool. Mm-hmm. There were people out there. So someone lived there. So I don't know if no one lived there at the time they made the movie or if they rented the house out or what. But I guess people are used to, to tourists coming by their house and like slowing down and looking. Because they saw us slowing down looking at the house and then they just kept on talking. <laughs> Remember? They were and sitting outside. And it wasn't us either. So I don't know if that never was. I thought, it was. Sort of I thought it was mm-hmm. people that yeah. look like us. We were two Hispanic men standing out there. Cause remember we talked about it. Um, so yeah, they turned around and saw us. Turned right back around and kept on talking. <laughs> I'm sure they used to people doing that. We went by Jody and... Um, oh yeah. What's her name? Um, um, I don't remember his name in the movie. Her name. Jody was the was. Oh, Jody was the dude. What was mm-hmm. her name? That's what I'm trying to remember. Was it Baby Boy? Was the name of the movie? Baby Boy, yeah. Yeah, we went by the Baby Boy house. Her I apartment. can't remember her name. Yeah, in the movie. If y'all haven't Look, seen that, yeah, go back to our LA vlog where we show you all the hood movies, the '90s hood movie spots. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we saw the boys in the hood um, alley where. What's his name that got killed? Rick. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ricky got killed. It was so cool. In the house, too. Um, in the house. That they, uh, they lived in. Mm-hmm. Dope boy in them house. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. I bet people get tired of... Uh, them people who live there get tired of tourists coming by their house. What about her? When you moved in there, you knew who house you was moving in. And if you, you didn't, they should have told you. Right. <laughs> I know people might not have known. <laughs> I probably knew because that probably raised the value of the house. Hmm. We probably say, why this little house in this hood cost so much? <laughs> well, there's history behind this house. I'm going to tell you. Mm-hmm. So, uh. We went by, um. <clears throat> what's her name? Jada Pinkett Smith character's house on um, Miniature Society. Mm. Did you see that one? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. We saw that one too. Mm-hmm. We saw that house too. Because I remember outside, the outside part where there was the shooting at the end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We saw that. That house. But yeah, those '90s movies were were so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you know? I love all. I love all your '90s topics because I came up at the same time. We were about the same age, and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, that was so good. That was so dope." Mm-hmm. '90s is everything. And y'all, I'd be sitting there like. He don't be knowing what. I'd be like, what would be talking about? I ain't never heard of them. He be like, I ain't never heard of that person. What are you talking about? I but don't then know he started playing the music. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember this song <laughs> vaguely. And I know everybody he be talking about. Cause if you came up in the nineties, you know. And if you was into R and B, if you was into rap, using hip hop, just nineties art culture in general, then you know. It was so much. So much really good stuff going on as far as the arts go. Movies and music and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bone with that bone? Mm-hmm. You want to suck the bone? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not suck the bone challenge. <laughs> Y'all. That's suck the bone challenge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First of all, why y'all named it that? BKG. Ooh, this ranch make you full though. Your mm-hmm. blue cheese make you full. I'm not eating that much of it. Mm. So I also put on my salad, y'all know. Mm. Plus you got the cheese. I got cheese. 
I don't have no rice though. Hmm. So I thought it wasn't with that full. I was like, well, I'm not with that full. I ain't got no rice. Baby. Hey, now look at her. Look at her now. Getting full. We've come a long way, baby. <laughs> mm. Okay, you bit yourself. <laughs> Little bone. Y'all remember them Virginia Slims ads? Mm-hmm. You remember them? Mm-mm. What happened on the ad? They would just always say, baby, you come a long way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Virginia, Virginia Slims were advertised to win. Wow. Yeah, that was supposed to be the classy ladies' cigarette. Mm-mm. Appealing to the feminist in you. Yes, I have. Hmm. I deserve a cigarette. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we've gotten away from that. Advertising cigarettes. They don't even have those type of advertising cigarettes, huh, anymore. Mm-mm. Which is interesting because they still got alcohol advertisements. I remember um, Billy D. Williams and the Coke 45 commercials. There are two rules to remember if you want to have a good time. Rule number one, never run out of Coke 45. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. <laughs> you remember that? Mm-mm. See, I'm going back too far, y'all. Because I don't remember. Coke 45. Oh well. Y'all delicious. We done cleaned the plate. One more plug for the homie Debo Vibes. Congratulations on that one K. We looking forward to that monetization party. Y'all run All that right. brother's pay playlist. Run the Embry Family Embry Family Entertaining Seven. Run their playlist. <clears throat> Kay Lamar, run their playlist. Who else just get uh, re- uh the Maybe real that. lady red ASMR. Run her playlist. And anybody else who we miss that Made it to that 1K or trying to make it to that 1K or in that playlist. Mm-hmm. Get them up there. All right. Run her playlist. <laughs> Tawana <laughs> Michelle. Matter of fact, y'all go over there and subscribe. The I already put the name up on the screen, but the link going to be down in the bottom, down in the description. <laughs> y'all go over there, and if you find that content interesting, make sure you subscribe. Even if you don't. Subscribe anyway. Subscribe and watch. just turn the notifications off. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Well, y'all do that crazy YouTube stuff, and we will catch y'all on the next one. T&B Nation out. Bye.